We Got This Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well. <laughs> Girl, listen, we got this. I remember during my pregnancy, I was so convinced that a few weeks after the baby drops, my body is going to be so snatched. My waist will sink in, my stomach will be flat, and of course my skin is going to have back that natural warm glow. Well, <laughs> three years down the line, with a lot of workout routines, really good diets and so on, my stomach isn't particularly flat, I still have a pouch. <laughs> my waist didn't sink in like I thought, and oh yes, stretch marks, I have a few, and they're beautiful. Today on We Got This Africa, I'm going to be talking to two of my mom friends, Ekia and Ama. We're talking postpartum bodies and everything in between. And we hope that you new moms watching us today will learn a thing or two. My name is Nasha Ko and you're welcome to our show. We got this. Choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frytol. Mm. At Wilma, where Frytol is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frytol is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. Frytol is a cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Frytol. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frytol. Frytol. Love your food. Love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Ever told a new mom, hey, that then I will get your own son away from you, sir. You know, comments like that. If you have, this episode is for you too. This is We Got This Africa, and I'm here with Amasicho and Aki. How are you, ladies? Good. Yeah, you look beautiful, and I'm so glad that you ladies in particular are here for this episode. Like, I tell you. So, okay, first of all, what's your pre-baby size? Ten and twelve. I was ten. Ten. Yeah, ten. I think I was ten too. Yeah. What was I? Ten. You no, know, you weren't ten. And you, you were like eight. Or I was like eight or one. Oh, okay. <laughs> all the hips and things. And yeah, you didn't yeah. notice. <laughs> I think I was. I was about. I was about ten too. You were not ten. Oh. No, you were either eight between six and eight. You were six. six. Oh no, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Because if I was ten, you can't be ten. When you were little and short, then you had no breasts. Yes, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't bigger than you. We are about well, the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Let's fine. That's fine. That. So mm -hmm. what are you now? 12. 12? No, no, no. Hey, I'm not 12. Oh. 14. Yes. You're 14 but now. I lost my <laughs> what, what size were you after you had your baby? Um, yeah, I think I came up. I wasn't wearing anything that had a label. You were just that wearing shows, free clothes, so. shows my size yeah, because size. I was, you know, I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know. I'm sure I was like 16 or worse. But yeah. You didn't want to know what No, I didn't were. want to know. So okay. I wasn't, and I'm the type that cuts off uh, those labels. Uh, labels in Why? Me. I don't know. I, I do that a lot because I don't, I cut them off. Okay. Mm, so. I see. Mm -hmm. What size uh, were you after your, your babies? 60. How many babies do you have? Oh! I see. So I'm, I I moved from so um maybe not about body size. I I was I weighed sixty nine mm -hmm. before my first pregnancy, and after my second pregnancy, I weighed about ninety two ish. So that's how much weight I gained, and and that's even after I think after three months because on the day that I had a baby, I checked my weight and I was over a hundred. But you know, you do that? But you know yeah, at that time, that? at that time, you have all the water weight and so on. Yeah, so I, I waited three months on and I checked again and I was like, whoo, 
we've got work to do. But l- l- let me let me um, um, hear from you guys. Like the first day you had your baby, and the first time you saw yourself in the mirror after baby, how did you feel? Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 please. Um, okay, so I remember I was in the hospital, and then I actually had a cesarean section, so. I was asked to get up. I try and get up because I think they had they did the surgery around eight in the morning. So the doctor was like, I should make sure I get up before um, evening time mm-hmm. so that like I could be active for them to see if the process was actually successful mm-hmm. with regards to my body, the stitches and all mm-hmm. that. So I did, and then I entered the 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 washroom and I was actually shocked because <laughs> even after giving birth, it was as if you, I was still pregnant. Like, nothing had changed. The stomach was still the big. The stomach was still big. Because of yours, for cesarean, um, for normal pregnancy, I, I learned to be able to tie the, mm. the stomach even just that day or yeah. even the day after. Mm. But with cesarean, you can't because you even have to be in the hospital for oh, wow. days before you leave. Yes. Mm. So, I entered the washroom and then I could realize the stomach was still there. The down part had um, sucked a little um, all of a sudden, my breast had sucked, and <laughs> I just words can't explain it honestly. How did you feel? Sad, um, worried, because I, I I tried. No, this wasn't the body I had before mm-hmm. the pregnancy. So why this drastic change? At least I know when you get pregnant, you mm-hmm. don't expect to get the same body back. But for what I saw. Mm-hmm. I wish I had. It still comes to mind every time I talk about this thing because it's depressing. Oh. Seriously, it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Kia? When you first saw your body in the mirror, like, did you look at yourself and say, "What did you say?" I, you I. So uh, I had a great pregnancy. I, I didn't look pregnant till like the eighth month. So my pregnancy just don't look like awesome, but I think a few, about two weeks to me giving birth, I became huge because I was taking monthly pictures and that time my husband was away. So I wanted to say, so he was not back till I was due. And then when he finished taking the pictures, I said, ah, is that me? So it's okay. So after the baby, um, I think the week I didn't go, I didn't check myself after the baby, but a week after the, I was supposed to go to the hospital and I was looking okay. I fit in a dress that I had when, so I, I was, I, I felt so good. I was like, wow, this is me. Yeah. Snatch. And then when I, when I went to the hospital, my doctor said, you, you're going to get pregnant again. Look at how hot you are looking. I was like, yeah, that's me. And I was hey. like, ah, I'm one of those people who have babies and then they'll look chicken all good. And I was so good. And then, my my milk was not coming, so my mom said, "Very in Sharia, and you I'm have to." Crying. Me, I I don't take fufu. I don't like soupy stuff, but okay. they will force me. But yeah, the soupy stuff. I was like, okay, if you're not doing soup, you do um the mashke. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I like mashke. So then the mashke, I not play with you. I said black tonic. I was on. I was on until so you invited me for um, um. I was supposed to go for your play. Yeah, and I had laid this dress Outfit. that I wanted to wear. It was in my mind because I was looking chic. Then on that day, I, I tried to get into the jeans. This is a big jeans that didn't fit me when I like it was loose. So I was like, okay, now maybe. Eh, I think couldn't even go up there. And and so I looked into them. I was like, ah. What happened here? I cried though that day, and my mom was like, "Hey, no, Kwan, why, 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 it's no mass. Like, no, this is stuff." I was like crying. I remember, so I cried so hard, but I really had to go. So I had to wear this at a get like I'm pregnant. All of a sudden, I looked like eight months pregnant. It was sad, and I, there was nothing I could do about it. And it was one of the saddest day in my life after birth. That, in fact, I started coiling. I didn't want to go. I, I remember that I stayed indoors. For six months. There was a time you got me out to come and shoot you. And I wouldn't edit the pictures. It was because I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lie down. And it became worse. It was worse. So, yeah. What were you thinking in your head? like? You know, I, I, at a point I said, Mary, I'm done. 
there was a day that I was in the bathroom and I wouldn't come out. And then my mom said, eh, who, me, I, who, yeah, because I had gone to church and a couple of men and women were like, hey, back up in Ponye. Oh, no, mommy, I didn't. Hey, no, come on, wow, wow. And it was, it was like, oh, say, when you're watching a movie and then everything comes. Yeah, so and, 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 like time. every time. And I, it was, I was spinning. So when I got home, I said, imagine, the so end. Imagine like you're back from maternity leave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then full staff sees and they'll be like, hey, why are you pregnant? Again? Yes. That's what you got? I, yeah, are you pregnant again? It was crazy. So I said, you know what? I'm done. I went into the bathroom when I was there for an hour. I mean, I like my bathroom and toilets. I can sit there for... My mom said, get out. I said, me, me, we are cranky. So I said it. I said it to my mom. My mom had to call Sister Getty and some of my friends. And my husband had gone to East Africa then. And I was just in the bath. I said, me, we are cranky. Because I can't. That's what I said. I didn't, I didn't think about killing myself though, but I said that. My mom, I shouted. I said, we are me, we are cranky. No, son. My mom started crying. My mom's cry is very bad. <laughs> Yeah, I remember so well. And I got out, and then somebody called me. My friends were calling me. Hey, we are going out. It was a breaking point for me. It was bad. If I tell people the way I am, I'm very hype. Yeah. I'm the hype girl. I'm the, the light of yeah. the party. Like So when I tell people that I was actually depressed, stayed home, the whoa, oh, forget yourself. They didn't believe me. I remember you photographed me. You did some pictures for me, and I kept asking my pictures, my pictures, my pictures. And you told me, I don't even want to open my laptop. Yes. I don't even want to see the pictures. Yes. And I was thinking to myself, you know, what's going on? That was what was going on. And I, I nobody I believes know. me. Yes, nobody believes that Aki would, you know, go cold. So I just, I was, I was upset. Just there. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. You said, you're not sending the pictures. Say, like, I said, I told you once that I know you will not let me photograph you again. Yeah. And you're like, we will see you. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Because I, I, I was so upset because yes. we took the pictures and the pictures just weren't coming, and my husband kept asking for the pictures, and my sisters kept asking for the pictures, and I was like, you know what? I Let me not ask her anymore. Yeah, so I stopped. Stopped. She wasn't asking I didn't ask. anymore. I just left it. So I actually gave them to my studio. I even forgot I had to give it to him, and I had um, amnesia. Like, if you ask me to do something and I don't do it now. I forget, like entirely, I forget. I can't remember what you told Most me to do. Issues. Yes, at all, <sighs> at all. It was bad. Are you feeling better? Oh, no, dear. No, dear. I got my groove on. Okay. I don't care. Like, I'm just on. And you look great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So when you went back to work, your colleague said, just come back from maternity. <laughs> Why are you pregnant? Why do you still look pregnant? Yeah. Then that thing results. can break you. <laughs> yeah, you have to resort to wearing waist shakers and waist trainers because you want to look the part. Did that help? Want... <laughs> Let's be honest. Waist trainers and waist shakers won't let you lose the weight. You have to actually work at losing weight. So either you diet, either you gym. Or do some rigorous exercises. You can't just sit one place, wear and a waist trainer, and things. expect to lose the weight. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work like magic. Yeah, I thought so it was. So you actually have to. So shapers for that you can wear. It will you will look snatched there and then. While you're wearing it. There mm-hmm. and then for you to do your normal activities, mm-hmm. but immediately you take you take it off. Boom. <laughs> 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 yes, comes out. <laughs> so remember when my husband even said. Somebody told me about the hair thing. When they wear the wig up, and when you get home, so today you wear this thing. When you get home, you move the wig, you move the wig, you move the wig, you just keep Everything just comes, yeah. Oh, boy. Fuck you, Fuck you, I think I even went to work home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Month. Yeah. And then I think on um, on Monday when I resumed work one Monday, my boss told me, oh, "From the way I see you, you almost do so go home." And I was like, "Oh, so I'm fine." He said, "No, no, no, you go home." Mm-hmm. So I said, "Okay." So after that Monday, I didn't come to work mm-hmm. again. And then on Tuesday, contractions you had, started. Yeah. And, and so I was rushed to the hospital, and then you know I was actually expe- expecting to go through a normal delivery, mm-hmm. like I yeah. Did earlier. And then 
you're there, you're contracting, you're like contracting, but mm-hmm. you're not dilating. Mm-hmm. So, so you contract, you don't dilate, you contract. Till the next morning. Mm. Then the doctor, <laughs> the, the doctor was even um, surprised. Like, no, he was he was annoyed with the nurses no. that they should have called me mm. because my water broke, and I'm contracting. Oh, that's And the sad. baby is not coming, and you, you they should have scheduled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 section. one on Tuesday, not even Wednesday. Ooh, no, so early so in the morning sorry. when the doctor came, he was waiting for his normal routine. And he saw you were still there. So he's like, ah, oh. he's still, he said. Then quickly they had to prep me for. So Surgery. the thought of going for a normal birth and, then and even going for a cesarean, so it's one whole. It messes thing. with your then mind. You already yeah. not single. Sorry, sorry. Then you go in there, you and come out, and, and you somebody know, you're very yes, slim, and then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> and, then Charlie, and they tell you, you begin to look like your mother. Ah, <laughs> you look exactly <laughs> like your like mother. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Well, you're watching We Got This, Africa, and we're talking postpartum bodies and more. Stay tuned. We Got This. Choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frytol. Mm. At Wilma, where Frytol is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frytol is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. Frytol is a cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Frytol. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frytol. Frytol. Love your food. Love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Watching, we got this Africa. I'm hanging out with Ikea and Ama. We're talking about listen. We got this. <laughs> We're talking about postpartum bodies and the real issues that play when you tell a woman who just had a baby that why can see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Charlie, so so I mean, you, you guys have, have have shared a rule. You have all shared um, what it was like when we first, um, you know, had babies and saw me. Oh, what happened? Met our new buddies. Yeah, I, I tell yeah. you. So actually, I started tying my belly from the day I had my baby, even though I had a C-section. So I had a C-section, okay. and when I woke up, about a few hours on, I tied my belly with a belly wrap. Not with a waist trainer or you know, any of those. Wraps. There's, you know, those postpartum be- belly wraps. They are very um, stretchy, Stretch, yeah. and so I, I wrapped my body, okay, real good, okay. really wrapped. Actually, a nurse brought it to me in the hospital. The hospital where I had my baby, That's they provided because with the hospital I had, they told they me you can't. It. Yes, but the hospital I had my baby, they provide a C-section um, friendly belly wrap for new moms. Oh, so they wrapped me. Okay. Every day, like they, they come and if you want to take it off, they advise you not to okay. because they, they tell you what can happen. That's good. So mm. I rub my belly from day one, and I actually think it did help me, but it wasn't a waist trainer. Mm. The thing is that sometimes we don't know yeah, there's a specific yeah, nah, one. Yeah, yeah, specific it's, one. It's a mm-hmm. quite stretchy one. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. that is for that purpose. Mm. And before they discharged me, they gave me another one to, mm. to go with. So, <clears throat> so, so you know, I was all wrapped up. Okay. The whole time in bed. When I went home, gang, gang. That was when, that was when I actually saw that yo. When I was pregnant, right, I didn't have any stretch marks. My belly was so smooth yeah, yeah, and same. so cool. Yeah, we went by. Same, yeah, same. You know, yeah, what do you call it? Share butter. We're like, hey, this is this one. Share butter. Bio oil. You know, yeah. which is all good because oh, yeah, she stayed very moisturized and so on. I think it's about two weeks before the baby came. I took a, a low angle picture with my belly. I usually take my pictures like this, right? <laughs> and so I just put the camera down. I set the timer at t- 10 seconds. And then, then I sat down and I took a picture. Okay. That was the moment of truth. <laughs> when I looked at the picture, I just saw. So you know when you're pregnant, you don't see anything under your belly. Mm-hmm. You can only see the top of your of belly. Course. That's all you see. Mm-hmm. So when I saw the picture, 
I saw all of the under of my bed, like mm-hmm. all of it. Mm-hmm. And it was like vines, like this, all over. Like it was just. Mm-hmm. I've never had one stretch mark in my life. Mm-hmm. Not one. Anyway. I've never spoken about this thing before. When I saw it, I looked at it and I sent a picture to my husband. I said, I have stretch mark. <laughs> he said, I don't see it. <laughs> they never see it. I said, look, I have stretch marks. He said, oh, it will go. Don't worry. It's not a big deal. Ah, but you see how you're looking sexy. I don't have a stretch mark. Forget about it. It's like, you're just trying to make like, you look good. Forget feel forget good. It. It's okay. It's okay. I actually did feel better when he said that. Because you know when you think about yourself, you immediately think about your partner too. Mm-hmm. Right? Like this is this is new. Like the what's new gonna happen? Mm-hmm. So he was like, Oh, it's nothing. So I actually felt better. But I looked at it every day. I kept I, that was the last time I took a picture of my belly. I didn't take any more pictures. I kept looking at it. First of all, my stomach was so black. It was black. Yeah. yeah. Like no more. Black. Yeah. Very black. Darker than my hair, black. Mm-hmm. And I could see the stretch marks in that darkness, in that blackness. <laughs> so I stopped taking pictures. That was the last time I took mm. pictures. I stopped taking pictures of my belly. And then I started reading about other women who have gotten pregnant and had stretch marks okay. and whether it goes away. Mm-hmm. And I saw all the re- recommendations about the oils to use. I bought essential oils, vitamin E oils. I got shea butter. I did the whisk mm. in the kitchen. I did the whole solution yeah. thing. So after the baby came, I expected my belly to go down, mm-hmm. honestly, because I follow all the motherhood pages on mm-hmm. Instagram, and I see, like, I, I follow the hashtag postpartum body, okay. and I see a lot of women showing their before and after pictures, and it's so snatched. Okay. And it's so, there are very few who aren't. The ones mm-hmm. who actually, like, bear their belly and take pictures, mm-hmm. there are very few who aren't. Like, mm-hmm. you see a lot of, like, really snatched women. So mm-hmm. I figured with the right, you know, workout and diet plan, I was going to just snatch, get mm-hmm. snatched. So throughout my pregnancy, I was walking, and this was my first child. I went on daily walks. I did yoga. I did Zumba. I, I went for dance. I was fit. Okay. okay. I was good. Okay. So after baby, wrapping, <laughs> wrapping in the hospital, always wrapping in the hospital. Like mommy. Mm-hmm. When I came home, mm-hmm. I took off the wrap. Okay. Because in the hospital, they don't. They you can't take it off. Can't, they keep it on you. And I really appreciate that too, because I think it helped. I think when it I came should. Home, and I took it off. Mm-hmm. And I looked at myself in the mirror. It was like somebody else. Mm-hmm. It was like somebody else. I remember one day, like, I just, you know, you don't talk about it, right? Mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. look at it mm-hmm. and you keep quiet. Mm-hmm. Look at it and you keep quiet. Because it's a and place, my friends you keep playing kept in your sending head. me messages, like, Yo, now the way you always walk in your pregnancy, like the way you are going to be snatched mm-hmm. by the time you have your baby, just stop that game so strong. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I got a lot of that from my friends, but that wasn't the, that wasn't the reality. Even though I was walking, eating well, taking good care of my body, and st- I was nowhere close to snatched. Mm-hmm. One week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, six weeks, tw- like two months, I still wasn't snatched. Even though I had a C-section, after my C-section, mm-hmm. when I was cleared to walk. I started walking for exercise mm-hmm. and not walking like around the house. Just, mm-hmm. I was going on walks. I will wrap my belly real good mm-hmm. and go for a walk at least 30 minutes, you know, 45. 25 minutes. I never went over 30 okay. because I still hadn't healed. Of course. But all I was thinking about was, oh my God, I don't look the part. Mm-hmm. I don't look quite right. And I was supposed to be hosting Miss Malika around that time. And you know, it's a beauty pageant. It's supposed to, you know, and so. <laughs> I tell you, it was it, it it's it's difficult to tell people because it sounds very flimsy and like, mm-hmm. are you serious? I really want. Blessed with a beautiful baby. Mm-hmm. So what are you going on about your body, mm-hmm. like about? But it has it, it, it had a real mental like psychological yeah. effect on me, mm-hmm. and it thankfully I didn't have people in my life saying you look fat or you go big or okay. you, like the people in my life were pretty cool. Okay. You know, my sisters like would work out with me. I remember we started a whole workout, workout routine, my sisters and I mm-hmm. work out together. We, we got on a diet together. Special thanks to Wholesome Crafts. Like, Wholesome Crafts gave me a perfect diet. I saw mm-hmm. that I was beginning to lose weight and it was working and it was nice. But while I was losing weight, my belly was still very prominent. Mm-hmm. My stretch marks were still 
Well, the, the thing is, they don't disappear, but the appearance improves. Yeah. Of course. You know, it doesn't like boom, mm-hmm. boom, no, 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 But no. then it begins to seem to fade or mm-hmm. it begins to look be- better. My belly was still very flat mm-hmm. and wrinkly. Mm-hmm. And it was, but I just kept tapping into the vim mm-hmm. of the fact that yeah. it takes oh, yeah. time. Mm-hmm. It took you a whole year to bake this baby in your belly. It's going to take at least one year for you to begin to have some semblance of you know, not not exactly <laughs> like of what you had before. Yeah. So I gave myself one year. After one year, no show. So I gave myself two years. And well, here we are. <laughs> Three years later. But but I I don't feel the way I used to feel anymore. I actually feel really hot. You okay. know, for a mom of two. Like okay. I feel like um should I get up? Yeah. I feel like 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 I feel like I'm all out of bag of chips. Mm. Hey, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really cool. <laughs> like I think I'm, I, but I put in so much work, and okay, yeah. I am grateful that I trusted the process. Yeah. You know, and I'm still trusting the process because I have a one year old. So like, and I always give myself two years now. Like, okay, honey, it's going to take you at least two years. But all of that, you know what? It takes like six weeks, three months, and so on that you see on social media. The Me, two weeks one, that's amazing. Oh, you see? I think snapback is fake. It is not real. Yes. But I acknowledge and appreciate the fact that some people, you know, just lose the baby weight mm. by themselves. Some people like, just naturally do not have some type of body skin, fat, so body fat, they, so yeah, they, they easily lose their the weight. But actually, with me, them. when I give birth, I lose weight. Mm-hmm. Then after time, when, you when you're feed. breastfeeding, mm-hmm. the weight comes back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I didn't even do, do the mask care and stuff. Because even before I had given birth, my breast milk was already coming. Okay. Even before I put to bed. Mm-hmm. So I didn't suffer with breast milk. Next time, yeah, I won't waste my time. <laughs> you waste your time with what? I won't waste it because after all the mash cake, do you know that the breast in it still didn't still, come? Like very scanty. It differs from person to person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I won't. That, just but do you think that all of this thing that happened with you, like your body mm-hmm. looking at it and how it had changed, mm-hmm. did it affect you, like other aspects of your life emotionally with your work and so on? It, it did immensely. Mine was crazy because, like I said, nobody believes me because I'm so hyper. Like, I always tell my friends that I don't have to drink because I'm naturally drunk. Like, I'm <laughs> extremely high. Hype. Yeah. I'm very hyped. So when I was going through this, everybody was just there thinking I was cool. And then I, I was rather, instead of posting my, because I once posted a picture of myself and my daughter, and then it was just our face. But the comment was like, hey, is baby number two coming? Is baby number two coming? I was like, hey. So it got to me. So after all that things, everybody saying, hey, I then wouldn't be more. Are you? Why? Why are these lectures? Just one, hey, one, hey, and then we can work for a show. You know, it was just too much. So I was just there and I said, you know what? I'm not going out anymore. I'm not doing anything until I become what I used to be. I will not do anything. So that means that if I'm not going out, I'm not working. And I'm that person that had that mad love for photography. You know me. I, I loved it so much. Then all of a sudden, this is photographs we are talking about. The same photographs that are put out there is giving me headaches. So I started hating photographs. And that means that the passion that I had for my job was sinking. And it sank. It sank to the, in fact, it sank to the lowest point. As at Naka, I have not picked it back. And uh, whenever someone tells me that, oh, and this I tell the person that I have retired. Mine was more of like my relationship with my family because um, I was fortunate to have my mom around when I when I give, I, I put to bed. Um, you know, you'll be given their three months maternity leave and then, lucky for us, we're able to add uh, on your annual leave and then you, you have, have a, more time. So I had enough time to um, have go through the, that process. Lucky for me, when I resumed work, I was I was fine because I think I had a supportive husband. Actually, mm-hmm. he's a jovial type, very jovial. He doesn't he doesn't care. He just met you today and he will crack you out. Oh. Like that's him. Yeah. So he will try to play around everything. Like you said, they're all the same. They will see nothing wrong, I mean, even when you complain. They, <laughs> they don't see that. And we live in a society. Well, you know, when a man loves you, he doesn't really. Like, that's why they're yeah. the same. Kind then of he'll go like, oh, oh, how yeah, wonderful. And therefore, like 
ebeko ebeko nya abotre ah na wanyem nine ho nine ho months now because of the one day pitching ebeko so he would like try to say something to make you feel good about yourself again but you know it's a state of mind yeah yes, yes. and yeah. you haven't actually left that zone yet mm-hmm. because you you for me i could just look at my baby and I'm like oh no i'm going to my oh like that kind of <laughs> that kind of comments yeah. yes you yeah. see and sometimes you want to escape it but you can't yeah. because you're there yeah. you're there for me my phone was my hiding place honestly Oh, and right. my mom was always complaining. I'm a woman who's sworn to one kofano. 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 Because I'm on my phone and whatever I'm watching on social media is keeping me busy. Because it doesn't, and I will scream. I'm, I'm quite bubbly at home. And when you do something, I get easily offended. I would just say something nasty to you because, and I didn't even realize I wasn't myself, honestly. Okay, so my husband was like, ah, like, like, I've changed. He doesn't like the way I talk to him and all that. I was like, ah, how do I talk to you? It's not the same. Nothing has changed, you see. So, lucky for me, my doctor was quite uh, close. So, I called him. We spoke and then he told me, oh, it's normal. Sometimes you get it. So, with time, I could, I should just take my time and take it a day at a time and I'll get over it and, yeah, I should do anything that um makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah, so that I will try to keep my mind away from the actual problem even means getting away from mirrors because it looked like when you look into the mirror yeah. it comes back yes it, it reminds you of the state you are in it's actually trying to yeah. fit into your clothes yeah. that trying to fit into my clothes is what i think always drove me nuts because nothing fits before i get out of the house i will wear at least eight look even on a normal day when all things are you know cute before I leave home, you know, you want to try on so many clothes before you pick one. This time, I don't even get in to get to try it. And that can be so depressing. It, it is. Because you have all these pretty clothes. I'm like, oh, I have this Christmas dress I'm going to wear today. Oh, totally. It won't fit. Next one won't fit. Next one won't fit. Next one won't fit. I wore leggings and t-shirts for a while. Lucky you. Because if you're working in, a, like in, a, in, a, in an environment where you have to go to the work, what do you do? Yeah, you you need to have to change your wardrobe. Yeah, I have to you have to change your wardrobe. Yeah. yeah, you have to. You have to change your wardrobe. It wasn't easy. <sighs> Charlie, it wasn't easy. dealing with the many challenges that present postpartum can be tough. And sometimes it feels like your body should be the least of your problems. Because, hey, it took you nine whole months to birth this beautiful miracle. So you need to take your time and just relax and enjoy your baby and enjoy your life, you know, until you lose the weight or whatever. But for the new mom, it's not easy. It's not as simple as just your body. It's a whole big deal. When we come back, we'll talk more about how to deal on We Got This Africa. Choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frytol. Mm. At Wilma, where Frytol is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frytol is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. Frytol is a cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Frytol. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Frytol. Frytol. Love your food. Love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. watching we got this africa we're talking postpartum bodies and now we're going to talk what to do how to rock it and how to feel pretty cool and like the queen that you are right so now we, we all feel so fabulous don't we i know that i do i do can too. you tell oh yeah, yeah, yeah thank yeah, yeah. you you got to notice <laughs> and so how did we how, how did we get to this point of fabulosity i think it starts in your head okay once you accept, you know, everything starts with 
knowing that denying her, knowing that that, that it is here, it's here. (laughs) Now, how do I accept that this is part of me? And well, time, time they say heals. Maybe in time you will change. If you don't, just accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I accepted that. Okay, this is the problem. Now let me work towards it. Um, my process was slow, slow, very slow. Like I could, like I said, I could work out some, and and my husband to the oh oh that man, <laughs> he would not even like. He said, oh, we are on diet. Said, yes, we are on diet. See, then every and day, you are yeah, salads, you, eat you you'll be doing salads and say, ah, but you pa, if you do one cook, what will happen? You need some sugar in your system. <laughs> Then he will bring it, oh, baby, this panache hair, new panache hair, and it's chilled. It's nice. <laughs> My husband is a foodie, and he enjoys food. So when you are dieting seriously, he will come and say, oh, you try this. Then he will tempt you. Then you go and try it. Then you fall back small. But I mean, hey, you can't come and kill yourself. You can't come and kill yourself. So at a point, yes, I was eating, but I was working out. Maybe that is why my process was um, slow. slow. Because, yes, I was working out, but I, I eat what I want to eat. Maybe at the a, at a right time. So it was slow, but, yes, it was, I'm, not, I'm no more wanting. I'm now 84. Whoa, go you. But my child is three, going on four. That was a long, So it you takes know. time. Yeah, yes, yeah, some, yeah. Yes, some are slower than some, but it takes time eventually. Yeah, yeah, it takes yes. time. And then, um, I, I mean, I have blossomed. I have come out there. I am having fun again. You know, you know. I know. I and have... your skin is glowing. <laughs> your body is banging. Thanks to Ish. Like... You know, now I'm all vegan, organic. <laughs> okay. Ish, the yeah. is taking care of my system. So, okay. yes, I'm doing pretty well. And I have crazy friends, like crazy friends who will not allow me. I remember two years ago, my my because I had worked out so much, I said, I thought I was going to be you know, very, you know, Smart. yes, during my photo shoot. And then that month, getting to, like, it was in August, September, October, everything just, my daughter started school, and I stopped going to the gym, and then I went, boom, and I was a bit sad, and they were like, hey, by the way, you will not take photo shoot, you will take the photo shoot. They dragged me, made me up, and then we had a photo shoot, and it was fun, you know. So the, my friends will not allow me to be sad. Not anymore. So I have those, you know, and my husband, everybody is like hands on trying to cheer you. So then who are you not to get cheered? So yeah, I, I was able to break through and I always do this on social media because I know that is another boiling point for where people can really bring your soul and, you know, <laughs> to tell you like, <laughs> so whenever I post a picture and I know maybe I've added a little weight and I post the picture, I will warn you. Please, so if you try, I will destroy you. Don't even try telling me I'm looking fat. If I am, I'm okay, I'm cool. It doesn't concern you. Don't try me. I, hey, I send strong signals, then you know. So that one, there's social media. You're just a bully. I'm not. <laughs> I, I won't allow you. People, you know, but yes, I, people think but, I'm a bully, yeah, so they I can't totally bully me. You. But I get bullied yeah, too. Yeah, I totally you get know? you. Yeah, I totally so I won't you. give you that space. And whenever you meet me, I remember there was this woman that, no, it, he was a man. Then he said, hey, mommy, <laughs> hey, you, I swear I can see you. And then I was like, what can you do we? You know? And then there's this girl that we were in school. I was in Benkum with her. And then we have not met for so many years, about 18 years. And then he said, she didn't even greet me. And when we were in school, she and I were not that cool before her to You're come in. Hey, she comes in, hey, hi, Rahel. Hey, I, I just said, why can you see me? And I said, I'm saying, hey. Ukuna Oja, the husband too is a uh, mate. And I was like, Ukuna Oja, and if you had to say six months pregnancy, go and check that. Why would you know? I remember you were very skinny. Look at you. Look at how you have become. I used to, Madam, get out of my face. Get out of my face. And then one girl was like, Oh, because that day, that day, no, they were doing, um, I think, health check. And I got onto the the scale. You are not nice. You are not nice. No, I got onto the scale and I realized that I had dropped two. Wow. And I was excited. And yeah. there was a girl I went with and she was like, hey, you've done well. Wow, this is good. So we we're excited though. Then she just and then came. And this party comes along. Im- immediately after the thing, no, she came and said that. I said, get out of my face. Go and go and get out. And I saw that. I, I was sad that I did that. 
But it's a defense mechanism. I, I can't let you come and kill me. And I saw that after that, she, she was a bit quelled. She wouldn't join into the uh, uh, group picture. And I was like, well, you tried me. I did you. Okay, let's go. Let me take pictures. Let me have fun and go. Well, on the on, on like the brighter side is she she has learned something and she yes, won't go on to the next do month that. to yes. go and try yes. to bring her down. Yeah, you know by talking about her mm. body. Sometimes I want to believe that people don't do that out of malice, but sometimes the the way it's you need to. You know, I read this somewhere like before yeah. you comment yeah, on a woman's course. body, before you open your mouth mm-hmm. and comment on a woman's body, ask yourself: Is it part of my business? Is it your concern? Mm-hmm. Are you her husband? Mm-hmm. Are you, you, you know, it's the people outside of your personal space uh, yes. who feel like, you know, they have the right to say the thing, these mm-hmm. things. Not anymore. But the truth is, it's very unkind, you know. Mm-hmm. And the truth is, some people too don't know. They honestly do not know that, that you shouldn't do that. They don't know that they hurt you by telling you things like this. So I'm glad we're having this conversation. I made an intentional... And, and, and so people should know. So when people come at you like that, it's important to let them know, help them understand. Like, do you know that? So, I tell you what. Recently, I put up a picture. I went to my friend's wedding, Selena, mm-hmm. and then I wore this really hot dress. Mm-hmm. And then I put up a picture, and a friend of mine um, commented on on my picture and said, "Are you pregnant?" This ah. is last week, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "No, I'm not. Are you?" And he said, "No, I'm not." But she's also battling infertility, and I didn't know, right? Aww. So when she said, "Are you pregnant?" I was like, yo, she's, because she's trying to tell me that my stomach looks good. So when she said, are you pregnant? I said, no, I'm not. Are you? So my comment hurt her because she the, didn't expect hers to hurt you. Yeah. But I didn't know that she Imagine. was battling infertility, right? You didn't know. I didn't know. So when I said, I'm not pregnant, are you? And she said, no, but I've been trying for a while. Now, that brought a conversation to a different level. So now we began to talk. Right, and I apologize for saying that to her because I can only imagine how deeply hurt she was by that. And I also explained to her that yo, I wake up every morning and do about a hundred sit-ups before mm-hmm. I get out of my room. And so you shouldn't tell new moms, you shouldn't ask new moms whether they're pregnant. Mm-hmm. And for someone tries to get pregnant, you should know that you shouldn't ask people if they're pregnant because yeah. you, you hurt them if perhaps I'm trying to get pregnant, or perhaps I just had a miscarriage, yes, or perhaps you don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So don't comment on women's bodies because you, you don't know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. And now she knows and she understands. So, you know, we, it was a learning experience for both of us. But well, here we are, looking good, feeling good. Yes. And still for, push yeah, still push it. So <laughs> yeah. in, in one sentence, what would you say to um, all the moms watching us who feel like we have felt before? I would just say knowing that it's a process mm-hmm. and... They need to put um, a set target to their mind that um, they want to move from that situation. Mm-hmm. And they would indeed move from that mm-hmm. situation or that space in that moment. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's a process. And mm-hmm. that um, if they ever experience these kind of feelings, mm-hmm. they should just talk to people. Yeah. And it's not strange. People think um, if you say you are depressed, um, air bubble, or like you're sick, they mm-hmm. think you should perhaps go to the hospital or something, yeah. yes. It, it's a process and it's normal to be depressed after having a baby. So, mm-hmm. yes, it's normal and then talk to someone. Talk to um, a learned person or yeah. someone who read. actually has an idea. Yeah, yeah read. Let's read. Um, mm-hmm. And then, yes, we'll You'll be feel better. To, yeah, mm-hmm. we do. We all do. I yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> For me, honestly, what even actually boosted me more is, I don't know how long we'll be watching this thing, but I have to. Like, people started to drink us. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, 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 it boosts like, your oh, confidence a lot. I still yeah. got it. You still got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Aki? Okay, so uh, like I said, it starts in your mind. Yeah. And you won't get there like bam, bam, Tomorrow bam, morning. bam. No. <laughs> so please, while you try to get there, you know, have all the fun that you can. Try as much as possible to surround yourself with very positive people because that is very necessary. If you you are guarded with negative vibes, Charlie, you will fall. That will push you, you need you need uh, people who have like positive energy to push you on. And if me, dear, I'm just gonna say it. If you have to be mean to people who are mean to you, be mean. If you have to be cool with people, just be, in fact, however you want to solve your problem, that is you. Yeah. Just do you whatever makes no. you feel good. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> 
But thank you, ladies, so much for coming and for sharing your experiences. <laughs> yes. And I'm sure that other moms watching us, um, hopefully, you feel better. Mm -hmm. Like Aki has said, it starts from your mind. Yes. You know, yes. your body has taken about like 10 months, 40 weeks yes. to cook and bake and prepare and birth a miracle. Mm -hmm. Surely you don't expect that in a few weeks you're just going to snap back and get snatched and go back to how and, and what you used to be. Mm -hmm. Your body is not damaged. Your body is not bad. It's different. Yes. And different is good. Yes. We're growing and we will never be as whatever as we were when we were 18 mm -hmm. or 20. So love your body. Take care of it. Invest in it. Work out, eat well, live well, we sleep well. This. Don't overstress and know that you're a queen. You're beautiful just the way you are. You're watching We Got This Africa. And I hope that this episode has helped you. My name is Nasha Ko. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. And yeah, cheers. Boom. 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 Make you no worry, we go stay okay, we go be alright, no Inyami, go chichima, inyami, bad no fe, inyami, go kanjano, kenya fe, go bad no fe, inyami, go chichima, inyami, bad no fe, inyami, go kanjano, kenya fe. We got this Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well.